How's it going everyone? Welcome again to another 40 and fit video. Today we're going to be doing a home workout. Now this is for you who may not have a gym membership or for you guys who may not have any weights. And this workout is good for beginners, it's good for men and women, it's good for all ages as well. Because what we're going to be doing today with the home workout, we're going to be actually working with milk jugs. No equipment, no problem. We're going to be using these milk jugs. This is the, the milk jug workout. And uh, what's good about this is I know everybody has these around the house. If you have some empty ones, just fill them up and we'll get it going. Each jug holds about a gallon and that gallon equals to about eight pounds each. So this is eight pounds, this is eight pounds. We're going to be working with 16 pounds here. If that's too much for you, you can always fill it up halfway. Get your four pounds and get your four pounds. But uh, we're going to be doing a full jug today, eight pounds each. So grab your milk jugs. Let's get this workout going. No equipment, no problem. The milk jug workout. Okay, we got our jugs. We're going to show you another arm workout. You're just mimicking like these are dumbbells, but we just got the water jugs. So what you're going to do, stabilize yourself and we're going to get these jugs and you're going to raise it to the front and off to the side. And do about 20 of these in each arm. So you'll feel that pump. You don't have to do 20. I'm going to do 20. Maybe you'll do 30. Maybe you'll do 10. But do it. Make sure you actually feel it. Try to keep that good form also. some hammer curls. These are going to work the biceps. We're going to try to do about 15 to 20 with each arm. However many you can do. Try to get a good pump. This is going to work the biceps. You can take a look at the grip, how I'm holding them. It's a good workout to get that pump with the biceps going. Okay. Just do about 15 or 20 of these. Okay, now we're gonna work the triceps. Gonna show you exercise you can do to get those triceps activated. We're gonna do about 15 or 20 reps and do about four sets. Or you know, you can do three sets, however many you can do. But I'm gonna try to do four sets. Uh, just for demonstration purposes though, you know, we're not gonna do all of that, but we're going to see how you can work the triceps with these milk jugs. First one is some tricep kickbacks. Hold your arm kind of like this, hold the jug, and just bring the milk jug back like that. Just bring the milk jug back. And after you do a few of these, you should really start filling it in the triceps. It's a good tricep workout. And make sure you switch arms. 
get the other arm going. Basically, we're mimicking exercises you can do with dumbbells, but you're just using a milk jug and a replacement. And once again, if this is too heavy, this milk jug, when you fill it up, it's eight pounds. If it's too heavy, you don't have to fill it up all the way. You can fill it up halfway, that would be four pounds. Or, you know, whatever you can handle. So those are some tricep kickbacks. All right, I'm gonna show you another version, how to work the triceps. This time we're gonna use both jugs at the same time. You're gonna bend over like this a little, and you gotta do some tricep kickbacks with the jugs. And you're gonna start feeling these right away. Do about five, you're gonna feel that burn in the triceps. If this is too much, you could always pour out some of the liquid to reduce the weight. When you have them full, they're eight pounds each. So if you need less weight, just pour some out. All right, those are some tricep kickbacks. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an exercise to work the front and side of your shoulders. We're gonna be doing some shoulder presses with milk jugs. Just take the milk jugs like this, hold them over, and you're gonna press up to the ceiling. You're gonna do this, and you'll feel the burn in the shoulders. This is gonna work the front and the sides of your shoulder. Do about 15 reps of these and do about three to four sets and you'll be all good. Nice front side shoulder workout. You can also do the shoulder press sitting down as opposed to standing. All you have to do is just grab yourself a chair, stool, whatever you may have and we're gonna do the same thing, but the only difference is we're seated. Take the jugs and do the press. It's a good shoulder workout. No equipment needed. All you need is some milk jugs. You have some laying around the house, just fill them up with some water. Good shoulder workout. Okay, we're gonna do another exercise for the shoulders. This time we're gonna do some side raises. This is gonna work the front and the sides of the shoulders also. A little bit of the back. Just take the jugs, hold them off to your side, and raise them out like that. Just do these, you'll feel it in the shoulders. What's good about this? can do this anywhere. No equipment needed. Just milk jugs. You're gonna fill this in the front and the back of the shoulders. You're also gonna fill it around the trap area also. 
All right. Now we're gonna do some front raises. We did them off to the side, but this time we're just gonna raise them out to the front. Just like so. Gives you a good shoulder workout. You see how I'm doing it? Keep the core tight. Keep those arms straight. And just raise the jugs. Good. Another variation, this is going to get more of the back of the shoulders and some of the back. Just going to bend over this time, take the jugs and you're going to raise them out like that. Really going to feel it in the shoulder area. Okay, we're going to do another exercise that's going to work the shoulders, but also this is going to incorporate some of the chest. Uh, this will give you that nice line down the middle of your chest by doing some of these. Uh, basically, you just get your jug. This time, we're going to kneel. You're going to hold your jug out in front, and you're just going to push it out to the front like that. And this is going to work the shoulders. Also, it's going to work the chest. Make sure you push and squeeze. 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 I'll show you how it looks from the side. Holding it to your chest and just going to go about 45 degrees up. Shoulder chest press. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a couple ways we can work the legs. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to do some squats. We're going to take our two jugs. Hold them out to the side, take your legs about shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna squat down. This is basic squats. And you can try to do about 20 of these for four sets. And this is gonna work your legs, the quads, the glutes. Basically the whole leg. And also, this is gonna work the core also for stabilization. Holding these jugs like this. You gotta fill it in there also. All right, show you a variation. If two is too difficult, you can hold one. Get the jug, hold it out in front of you. You're just gonna do the same thing, but you just have one jug this time. Squat, squat.
If you're really feeling good, you can incorporate squats and shoulder presses at the same time. You can do a move like this. Squat, up, push, 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 squat, up, push. You just gotta be creative with it. There's numerous things you can do. Alright, we're all done with the Milk Jug workout. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to join us for more workouts and more tips. Stay healthy, stay fit.